Hi, I am Cara Mel, the international drag goddess of Beyonce of the UK. I'm Tamara Thomas. I'm Vicky Vivacious. I'm Michael Maruli. Hi, I'm Miss Naomi Carter, and this is Kate Butch. From RuPaul's Drag Race UK, and we are playing Most Likely To with Cosmo. Michael Maruli or Ginger Johnson? Because they're, they're very old, they're very old yes! women. They've got a lot. They've got a lot of life experiences. We're young chicks. Michael, I'm Daddy. I would say definitely. <laughs> <laughs> she's been around. She's seen a few things. She's of a certain age. She's mature. She's wise. Put it that way. Probably be Ginger Johnson. I just feel like she's. I don't know. She's just loving and she's just always there giving giving like the best advice. So I'd probably say Ginger for that one. Either Ginger Johnson or Michael Maruli. They were the fun mums, the fun aunts at Christmas time of Drag Race. Either Ginger Johnson or or Dee Dee Licious. Yeah, probably Dee Dee. Dee Dee takes a lot. <laughs> uh huh. I think Naomi Carter, always the last to get ready. I'll put my hands up straight away and say that one. Go. I love, I love taking as long as I can to get ready. <laughs> I know who the quickest was, Kate Butch, literally. She'd with all start her makeup, she'd stand up, she'd be fully in a gown, full face done. And I'm like, um, hello, I've still got a beard. And probably a Vicky Vivacious, because she's gonna really try. She's gonna really try. Vicky Vivacious. Definitely me. Get me a sambuca and I'll sing anything. Yeah, that definitely Vicky Vivacious because like she is going to try and give us all the vocals down. She's gonna sing, <laughs> yeah, she's gonna. Ah! She's a fabulous live singer, but she often forgets the words, so it's nice to have the lyrics in the screen in front of her. I think the most likely to have a wardrobe malfunction is Dee Dee Licious. I uh, don't know if you've seen the trailer for Drag Race UK, but she has quite a big one in that. I would have to say Alexis and Pete. That breastplate can't, it's got a life of its own, it can't stay in. I'm not gonna lie, myself, nine times out of 10, like outside of drag race, honestly, girl, my nipples are normally just like sliding out here and there. For some reason, it's like they've got a mind of their own, like genuinely possessed. So I'm gonna have to save myself for that because like, I've notoriously known on my scene for having boobs out and like not intentionally. I feel like we can handle our drink though really well. No, that's true. Yeah, I don't I don't really um I don't really show when I'm a little bit tipsy. Miss Caramel knows how to party. She's <laughs> fabulous. I would also have to say Miss Caramel, yeah. She loves a she loves a bevy or two. Caramel. Uh, she just knows how to have a good time. Like she's always there with me drinking around, so I've got to say Cara for that one. Oh, probably Cara. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, just maybe a little bit, a bit loud and rowdy. <laughs> I'd also have to say Caramel. <laughs> I reckon most likely to get thrown out of a club would probably be Tamara. I think because she just gives like, in the best way possible anyway, she gives like the most energy. So I can imagine like, if she's pissed, being like, yeah, yeah, like, I can, I can see her getting chucked out of club. I've actually been thrown out a few times. Ginger Johnson, 100%. Yeah, Ginger Johnson. It's Ginger Johnson. It's Ginger Johnson, because I don't think she can work her phone. She's also, she also does the, yeah, emails, anything like electronic, she doesn't like it. And she just doesn't have a clue about what you use social media and yeah. She's a technophobe, bless her. But she's getting much better. She's getting there, she's getting really good at it. So we have to give her props for that. I will put my hands up straight away and say that I am the worst texter of the group. Like, if you ring me, I'll answer straight away. Like, literally, like, first two seconds, I'm like, hello. But I don't know, I'm bad with keeping up with group chats. And it's one of those things where it's like, I can't tell the tone of what the person's saying. So I'd rather speak to them because, like, sometimes messages can come across a lot drier than what they actually are. And then I'm, I'm there overthinking, like, oh my God, like, do they hate me? So, yeah, I'd say myself. <laughs> I mean, I am waiting for Naomi to reply to a text to me from May, I think, but I won't take it personally. Me? I'm a massive, like, I've always been obsessed with, like, pop culture and everything, so I, every time I say anyone, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. There's always gonna be that little 13 year old, little gay boy obsessed with the stars, so. I'd probably say myself. 
because I'm a big nerd for a lot of different things, a lot of TV shows, a lot of films. And if someone from a fabulous TV show or film is in front of me, I, I just won't know what to say, or I'll just waffle, I'll go on and on forever. I'd probably say Banksy, um, just, just because like, there's a lot of like fashion icons, like guest judges on this season. So I feel like if any is going to be starstruck, I feel like probably her. I would say Dee Delicious, because she'd be too busy <laughs> just stood there talking. Like, Dee would need to run. She'd be like, yeah, but um, I haven't finished my sentence yet. <laughs> if, if Dee Dee was kidnapped, they'd bring her back in five minutes because, um, <laughs> you know, Dee Dee loves to chat. I'd probably say that I'd be the one to be killed first in a horror movie because I'd be running around with my big boobs like, oh, no, please don't kill her, don't stab me now. I think the most likely to die first in a horror movie would be Alexis, because she wears these very dramatic heels and you just can't run from people in them. I feel like Kate Bush would last the longest in the horror movie. You would be the one to fall on your face while running. Yeah, and I'd be like, ah! <laughs> I think the person most likely to cut their own hair and think it looks good is Banksy. She's a punk rock icon. Um, I'm surprised if she hasn't already cut her hair. I feel like Banks is like probably the only one that could get away with it and still look like cool. Whereas if I were to do it, honestly, I'd look like I'd have been butchered. Banksy, because she's such a fashionista. She can make anything look good, to be fair. Absolutely. I, I'm going to have to agree with that. Banksy can wear a, a, a bin liner and still looks like she's just come off a wrong way. Why do I just want to say Dee? Dee, I don't know. No. I'm going to say Vicky. <laughs> she just <laughs> always thinks she looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you actually, Kate, if I'm being honest with you, because th th there were quite a few moments, like serious, like serious moments, and like we, we had to keep serious faces. And all of us, like, we're all just being silly, but like, I feel like just genuinely, like, you, you not, not like a lot of trouble calls, but like, you, you were the one who'd like say like little comments to get us all to crack. Yeah, you're right, though, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, horrible. I, I'm I, rotten. Tamara Thomas. <laughs> She finds humour and everything. She's the most daft, silly, gorgeous person ever. And she just, she's got the best outlook on life. And tomorrow, Thomas, laugh. If you're not laughing, that laugh will make you laugh, I promise. Because <laughs> we don't take anything seriously. Oh, there was no. times, but like, we'll just look at each other and we're like... Yeah, there was, there was a time when someone said something about filler. And we literally just... <laughs> filler? What's that? Vicky will steal your man. I might steal some hairspray from the workroom, but I don't steal anyone's man, you know. I like to get my own. <laughs> She'll steal your heart. Yeah, I'll steal, yeah, I'm the, I'm the queen of hearts. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to say, we're going to be committing the crimes together. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would be like, um, what is Thelma and Louise? I would definitely say. <laughs> like, we would accidentally kill some man because, you know, he just did my girl wrong. Yeah. And then oh, we just know. drive over the cliff together. Lady Gaga, Beyonce. Gorgeous. Yes! Yeah. Beyonce and Lady Gaga. You've been a very, very bad, very bad, 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 bad girl, girl. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, very, that's fine. Caramel, she's got expensive taste. If I wasn't already engaged, I'd be hunting down Zac Efron quicker than lightning. <laughs> or Wayne Rooney. I've got this weird thing with Wayne Rooney, you know. Really? Wayne Rooney is definitely my, my crush that you're not meant to have, you know what I mean? See, so yeah, I'd probably go for Alexis St. Pete, because I just feel like she's just got so much, like, cheeky charm about her. I feel like she, she, could, she could get any, anyone that she wanted. She's just so, like, funny, like, loving, but, like, she's just, like, a little bit cheeky. Like, she's just so flirty, and it's, yeah. I think it goes to both of us. I think that we we have so many famous friends, you know? Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. I see that for us both. Yeah, I see us, like, rich housewives. Yeah, very that. I see that. And I'm ready. I would say Michael. Michael Maroli, one hundred percent. Yeah. They're no fuss, no, no, no muss, all that stuff. Like they, they're just yeah. a very at ease type of person, and they're also like just so seasoned as a human being. They've been through a lot, so they just don't have time for all that. I think you could tell Ginger or Kate anything, and Michael as well. There's quite a few very trustworthy people in that room. I think Dee Delicious. She is the baby of the group, after all. She's, what, 12, I think? And no, she's 11. Oh, she's, I'm so sorry. Um, Birthday next week. <laughs> yeah, 
feel like I feel like because she is a little bit younger. I feel well, like I was saying earlier, like this competition is such like an intense experience. So I feel like if anyone's probably going to be like the crier of the system, I've got to give it to the youngest girl. And that's not like a stereotype. It's just it's just a lot. <laughs> Alexis, <gasps> did she cry a lot? I just know that Vicky Vivacious would, would cry even when she was in the top. Oh god, you cannot, <laughs> you won't, you won't. And it was like, girl. <laughs> oh, 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 I cry at everything. I'm literally, I'm such a soft, soppy bastard. So I would have to say myself. Bye-bye. See you on the telly. <laughs>